Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. It looks like we're going to continue in our adjunct logger week. Uh, this is another one that Hawk Todd sent. Uh, I have not had this particular one, but I got a feeling it's going to be just like the one we did uh, yesterday. It's going to be uh, basically a grassy, grainy adjunct logger, guys. So, uh, not a big fan of those type of beers, but I've not had this particular one before. Uh, according to what I have written here, or in the, the tablet here, this is Milwaukee's Classic Lager, and it says here brewed by City Brewery or Melanie Brewing Company in, in parentheses here. And it is a pale lager, it's basically an American adjunct lager. Uh, and they're out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. This beer comes in at... Uh, it doesn't have the ABV listed here, and I don't think it has it on the can either. So maybe they want to keep that secret. It doesn't have it on the can here either. Uh, and the numbers on the can is 29530507, whatever the hell that means. So uh, no discernible date or, or it's got some kind of code on the bottom of it, but I don't know what it means. It doesn't have the ABV listed on the can, and it doesn't have an all rate beer or a uh, beer advocate either. So. I don't have any idea at all what the ABV is on this beer. Uh, there is no commercial description on this beer at all on either site. So uh, we'll jump over to the food pairings. Uh, Cuisines Barbecue, Indian, Latin American, Thai, Pan Asian, Cheese of the Pepper, Monterey, Pepper Jack, and Immediate Shellfish. So I don't know where they're coming up with that food pairings for this lager. Most of your lagers go well with anything. They're pretty thin, uh, usually watery. You get a corn, rice, grassy, grainy, hay type taste. The biggest advantage of these type of beers, you can buy about 30 of them for about four or five dollars. So, I mean, if you're in just to get to drink massive quantities of shitty beer, this is what you would probably try to get if you're in that area. They're not distributed uh, down here as far as I know, because I don't I basically don't look in that section of the beer cooler for these types of beer guys. So it was sent to me, so I'm going to review it, and I'm going to be as honest as I can. If it's if it's good, I'll say it's good. If it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's bad. So with that being said, a glass wire pint, Becker, Tumbler, Pilsner glass, or the Pokal. This is my Pilsner glass, and not recommended for extended cellarings. And these type of beers need to be drank as ice cold as you can get them. The more they warm up. The the more uh, they are nasty tasting in my opinion. Just my opinion now guys. So let's get it in the glass. We're well, not going to pour it too aggressive because I don't want five fingers of head on this type of beer. So that up there where you can see it. Looks pretty much like a typical light golden macro lager color. Really light golden color. A lot of bubbles streaming up, about a half a finger of uh, white head on there. And I was actually getting a little bit of that grassy graininess from this distance. So let's get a nose on it. Yep, it's got a sweet corn smell to it. Very grassy, very grainy. Basically it's going to be your cheap, typical adjunct lager, guys. So the head has dissipated already, so let's give it a taste. Very typical, very lawnmower-ish or esque beer. If you're out working in the yard, cutting the grass or whatever, and you're hot and sweaty, and it's 90 degrees outside like it is out there today, and you got these all on ice, I um, mean, you could probably suck down quite a few of them really quick, like, and it'd probably be a decent lawnmower beer. But like I said, the biggest selling point of this is it's very, very cheap. I would like to know what the ABV is. I don't know whether it's like a four or four and a half percent or it's even a five. But I'm not getting any alcohol in the taste. But very thin, very watery, not a lot of taste. Grassy, grainy, hay, little on the sweet side. So it's basically your typical adjunct lager. Cheaply made, made to 
get your shit face basically. If you want to drink 15 or 20 of them, you, you probably get your buzz going on pretty good there. So. It's not bad. It's not a bad beer. But it doesn't have a lot of taste. Well, I'm going to take it back and let her have a taste or two of it, see what she thinks, and then we'll come back. But I don't let these beers warm up. I'll be right back, and we'll do the final chug and grade on this one, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I even went to the website, uh, the people that brewed this beer, and they're just, they don't have anything about the beer. So they're a big contract brewer, and they have a, and they're just tooting their horn about how big a contract brewer they are. They don't say anything about any of the beers that they brew, so... I guess they're not very proud of what they do. Uh, I'm not super impressed with this. I didn't think I really would be. Like I said, I'm not into this uh, adjunct lager style anymore. Uh, not a lot of taste. Uh, so basically, we're continuing our lawn, lawnmower beer week here with this one, uh, as, as we did yesterday with that one. So let's do the final chug. Like I said, if you're out working in the yard and you're hot and sweaty and all that, and you got these on the ice, and you picked up 30 of them for $5, you know, it's probably a good deal to get your buzz on. I mean, but if you're looking for something with taste, this is not what you should be picking up. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, I'll give this probably a three, which is a D, just like I did yesterday. I mean, it's not an F. It's not a drain pour or anything like that. But it is a cheaply made adjunct lager. So, continuing on with our lawnmower beer week here, it looks like uh, uh, Hop Todd, thanks for sending this. Uh, glad I got to try it, but it wouldn't be something I would pick up again. So, uh, thanks for sending it anyway. So, uh, a three for me, which is a D. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 62, which is in their poor range. Wouldn't argue with that. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall it's a one. And 14 in the style. So I guess uh, in the style, it is what it is. It is a cheaply made adjunct lager. So that being said, like I said, uh, if you, uh, you're you just wanting to get uh, your buzz on uh, uh, as cheaply as possible, this would probably be, like I said, uh, what I, from what I read, you could probably pick about 24 or 30 of these up for about five bucks. So, uh, uh, not very uh, expensive beer to buy from what, I, what I've read about this beer. But anyway, this is the Classic Lager, Milwaukee Classic Lager, City Brewing or Melanie Brewing Company. It has in parentheses here. Not really impressive. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. And let's see what kind of adjunct lager we can get our hands on tomorrow. <laughs> see you there. We're going to take a look in the fridge.